Hello, this is Techie Doodle Doo, and today I'm going to show you how to connect the IKEA Trofri to your Apple HomeKit app. So for this, you're going to need your IKEA Trofri gateway because you're going to need to scan the back of it. So keep it close to you. And also you are going to need your phone. And in this video, I assume that you've already set up your IKEA Trofri system. If you have not, I will leave a link to a video with a tutorial on how to do that in the description below. So let's dive into the phone. There we go. So I'll just show you the Apple Home Kit application. It's the application that I have to the right with a logo of just this orange house and it's called Home. So as you can see, I have nothing there at the moment. So let's jump to the IKEA application. Just connecting to our gateway. And if you're wondering what these words are, uh, these are <laughs> the rooms in my house, which are named in Norwegian. So mystery solved. So let's press the cog in the top right corner here go to settings and then we'll press integrations and then we will choose the Apple HomeKit and Siri. By the way if you are wondering how to set this up with your Google Assistant then I will leave a link to a tutorial on that down in the description as well. So yeah let's press the Apple HomeKit and here it says that we have to be close to our gateway because we have to scan a code on the back of it. So let's just click next. And then we will choose my home or you can create a new home if you want. So here you can see my gateway. Now I'll just turn it around. Ah, oh, that was super fast. So if it isn't as fast um, for you, then you just have to make sure that it gets the code on the um, bottom as showed in the drawing. So I'll just select the Trofri gateway, which it found. Connecting to bridge. There we have a pop-up from the Apple HomeKit app. And we will also choose our location, which is the dining room. Yeah, it can just be named Trofri Gateway. There we go. And then comes the tedious work, because now you have to choose the location of all your bulbs. <laughs> Let's see, this is a bulb in the wardrobe, so we'll have to create a new room. There we go. And we'll continue. So if you do not go through this process, all your bulbs will just be set to the default room in the Apple HomeKit. So you'll not be able to sort them by room. You can of course change the room or set this up later, but I'll just do it now. There we go. So let's open our Apple HomeKit app again, which we still have here. And there we go. Here are all of our bulbs. You can also press the little house icon in the top left corner. And here you can choose whatever room you want to control. So for instance, we can press dining room and we can see all our lights in the dining room. So yeah, I suggest you should probably play around a little bit with the settings because 
There are some scene features here that you can use. But yeah, that's about it. We have connected our IKEA Trafri to our Apple HomeKit application. Thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to leave a like if you liked the video and also hit that subscribe button to become a part of our techie family. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one!